Welcome to Subway q and I'm Rich Collier, and recently we got a letter from one of our viewers. Her name is Pepper, and in this letter, Pepper writes, why don't you do a segment on singles who wait and wait and wait and haven't found someone, especially at 45. Don't laugh. It's called spinsterhood. All right, well, today we're going to pay Pepper a little visit. We're going to take her on the subway, and we're going to try to find her a man. What do you guys think? Good idea? We're going to go pay Pepper a visit, try to find her a man. Good idea, right? We're going anyway. I feel like Ed McMahon. Pepper is a big winner today. Not a million dollars, but a crappy hat and a crew of seven in her home. Come on. Come on, Pepper. We're visiting our one fan. She's not here. So we're a little screwed. Why don't you, you ring the bell? Maybe that'll help. Oh, hadn't thought of that one. You have Ooh. a lot of makeup on. Yeah, well, you know, I'm a ghostly figure. I have to wear a lot of makeup. I actually I'm died three that. years ago. Pepper! Come on, Pepper, let us in. You got your hat. Hey, do you know Pepper? Yep. Pepper lives here. She lives on this block right up there, and we're trying to visit her right now. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. What, are you giving me a hassle here? Uh, what, what am I doing? You're giving me a hassle? A hassle? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm being playful. <laughs> Nothing. Next to God, I'm the cleanest thing on the earth. No. <laughs> that famous, famous group, singing group. I went off with them, went off and had a party all night, and my parents never knew that. The whip and poops, that's what they were called. I'm positive, no. Mom, Dad, I'm an actor. I have some library books I never returned. Cut school, drink bottles and James. When I told the teacher I'm going to the bathroom, I spoke to the store and buy bottles and James. My parents is not alive now, so that's why I'm telling the story. I used to sneak out of my house. I used to sneak out a lot. Climbed down my cherry tree and went out. Strike beer. They didn't know. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm the one that saw the hole in the wall. If I didn't tell them by now, I don't want them to know. <laughs> you know, my mom doesn't watch the channel, so it's okay. You don't live here, do you? Looking for Pepper? Are you, oh, hi. are you Pepper? Yes, I am. Subway Q&A is here. How you doing? We're making a surprise visit. How you oh, doing? I'm doing okay. I'm yeah? doing all right, yes. You glad to see us? Yeah, I'm shocked. <laughs> this is the living room and the kitchen. <laughs> I'm an artist, nice. so everything's thrown all over the place. And <sighs> You are an artist. Do you work for, the, for what museum? Metropolitan Museum of Art. Very nice. I've what? been with them for a long time. What do you do? Uh, maintenance work. Maintenance work? Yeah. But you're also an artist. I've painted this. You painted this and then you broke it? Yes. You cracked it. Why did you do that? I didn't mean to. Is it to. A, a Greek wedding? <laughs> this is broken too. Yeah, they, okay. I love it. How many personalities <laughs> do you have, Pepper? Um, like Pepper makes the plates and paints them yeah. and then bad Pepper breaks it's the plates. Crazy. This is a great big empty fish yeah. tank. But you missed it because uh, I had a little sparrow that I found and he died yesterday so I was kind of sad. So. Oh, so you break your own artwork and then you get timid <laughs> woodland creatures and bring them to your home and kill yeah. them. Where's your bird? He's gone. They, they, they died. What this nothing? Hey, hey, yeah. hey, you know, right. they die. Um, you know what you could do is you could throw your artwork at the animals. I drive, you yeah, know, you just wake up and you turn over and, you know, your girls are right next to you. After breakfast, I like to go to bed and make love with my girlfriend. When I'm with the woman? 12.37. It's my lucky number. If I had to pick a time, booty call, 2 o'clock in the morning. Probably about 3 o'clock in the morning. It's, uh, it's wonderful, it's spontaneous. I don't know, you're going to make me blush at like 4 o'clock in the morning. When you knocked out sleep and you just turn over and get the poop. After you've been out all night and you get home at like 8 o'clock in the morning. Anytime, man. If she's there, I'm there. Anytime. It's like IHOP. After you're married. <laughs> A 
lot of time alone in this bed? Uh, yes, I do. I don't believe that. Yes. Come on, let's go, you and me. <laughs> That's why I'm here. When you bring men back here, I don't bring men back. And on the bed, you have a copy of the Holy Bible. Mm -hmm. That's got to be intimidating. They, that, that can't, that, that would scare Unless me. Unless they're Christian men and they, they don't mind. They say, oh, you read the Bible too, and we get into a big conversation. And then it's it's just the missionary position, right? No. <laughs> you were curious about how the show worked? Yeah. We're going to yeah. show you how the show works. Maybe we'll let you host a little bit. Oh, okay. And I'm going to help find you a guy, okay? Oh, no. Yes, I am. <laughs> so here are some questions. Um, we thought maybe you could ask people down on the subway. Why am I 45 and still single? So, That'll be great. <laughs> can I wear this hat too? You can wear the hat, absolutely. So are you ready for this? Yes, I am. All I'm right. ready for We're going to get out of your bed now? Yes. Or right, you want to go at it one time before we go? Oh, no. I might loosen you up a little bit. <laughs> no. I'm pretty good. I'll give you the best three minutes of your life, Pepper. They say the subways are safer than ever, but I say you can never be too careful. All right, Dave, we're going to teach you some great karate today. Are you ready? Yes, Sensei. I am honored and ready to do battle. We're riding the E-Train with the Karate Kids, Sensei Brian, Deshi Chris from Tiger Shulman's Karate. Ia! Here we go. Okay, okay. Ooh, ooh. When you throw that hook, I want you to add that yell. Yeah. This is the yell. Yeah. Really wish you wouldn't do that. Let's right? go. Why? Ooh, that was the ooh. best one. <coughs> right this way. Thank you very much. I'll kick your ass. I will kick your ass. I'll kick your ass. Look at that. Focus and speed and that loud yell. You can say, yeah. I'm going to say, yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look what I did! See any bad guys on this train? <laughs> nah. Get home safe. I have to go to work. I'm not All right, home. you want me to come to work and kick some ass for you? Because I oh, will. You can't. I work at a correctional facility. Oh, well, you're on your own. Watching Subway Q&A, we are at Pepper's house in Chelsea. Pepper, we are about to go down into the subway with you. But before we go, I have a question about this. This is in your fish tank. It's icy cold. It is giant. What is the story with, with this? A big, big cold 40. It's a 40. There you go. 40 and ounces of St. Ives. St. Ives. You know, it's about noon right now. But the thing about this is that this is like crack in the bottle. It's, it's like, like crack, crack in, in a bottle. bottle. That's great. <laughs> That's a great little catchphrase they should use. <laughs> Yeah, St. Ives, it's like cracking a bottle. You want to know how the show works, right? Yeah. You want to get hooked up, right? At least try to. Yes, we'll try that. We will kill two birds with one stone pepper. Let's go. Come okay. on. <laughs> this guy, he has a nice smile on his face. He's like, he's ready. He does. <laughs> You're watching Subway Q&A. We are leaving Pepper's house in Chelsea. We're going to the subway. We're going to land Pepper, a man. We're going to show her how we do the show. We're going to have a great afternoon, right? Yes, 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 and yes. And yes, okay. <laughs> this guy, he has a nice smile on his face. He's like, he's ready. He does. <laughs> he might be. Let's go. Let's find out. Okay. All right. You want to ask him uh, this question? Um, yeah, ask, ask him that okay. one and make, make the sound effect, okay? Oh, right. All right, you go ahead. What is it about me that turns you on the most? Wow. <laughs> I guess it's a sound effect. You got a Garth Brooks thing going on. You know that. Thanks. You've heard that before, right? I have heard that. Pepper has got it going on, Garth. I'm telling you, <laughs> come on. Thing. Saddle up the Palomino, my friend. Woohoo! I have a boyfriend. You have a boyfriend? I do. All right, you're happy with him. I am extremely happy with him. All right, and you never consider switching teams? Not. Not even for Pepper? <laughs> Not even Look for Pepper, even though face, she looks like cap. lots of fun. She what do you got here? What kid. movies do you have? Oh. Oh. Little movie night tonight. Movie night tonight? 
sister Mary Ignatius explains it all. So, uh, can we come to your place and watch it? Absolutely. And have one great big We're going out to Jersey bisexual then. orgy? Sure. Oh wow. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Small penis. Can't jump. Slow. That. They smell funny when they get wet. They say all kinds of things like, y'all be scared of us. White people are ignorant. White people uh, don't really understand black people. They kind of in their own zone. No style. White people think it's all about them and because they got a little bit more money than us black people. Can't dance. That's that's true. Most of my friends, whether they're white or black, are pretty, you know, decent people. So I don't have anything bad to say behind their back. They're racist. They're all racist. Sometimes white people think they're better than the, than the others. When white people get wet, it's kind of like a like a, a mildewy smell that they kind of give off. Whenever it rains, I tend to stay away. <laughs> My boyfriend's black. He and I talk about this all the time. Not smart, don't work, don't help each other. White people, when they're in a room by themselves, make jokes about black people because they think they can get away with it. There's never black people around when I grew up. <laughs> you never heard that kind of stuff before? No. Yes, yeah. It never really came up. And I try not to get into the whole racial issue because then it just keeps the problems going longer. I'm sure that in his past that, you know, some white people around him have said some things about black people. That's, that's reality. You know, it's uncomfortable because he doesn't want to be associated with those kind of those kind of thoughts and things like Why that. Why keep bringing them up? Why keep harping on them about their issues? Mm, that they're lazy. You know, just degrading, stupid fellow, and they all cause crime. Just general expressions of fear, probably. Somebody was following me home. I didn't know who he was, that type of thing. When I was growing up, people would say that if uh, African Americans moved into my neighborhood that the property values were going to go down. We've had no luck finding you a boyfriend, have we? No, we haven't, but you know what? I'm happy about it. <laughs> there is somebody that I still like. Um, I don't want to use his name, All but right. I will. His name is Eddie. 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 Oh. Eddie drives a motorcycle. Eddie's a bad boy. Yes, he is. You he's like the bad, bad boys. boys. Yeah, but he's a quiet bad boy. He's a oh, nice guy. He's a sullen, introverted bad there boy. He's mysterious. Go. Yes, very That's mysterious. That's what you like. Yes. Yes. You like to date jerks. How you doing? Okay, how are you? This is World War Vet. Come on, hey, yes, cool. I was at Pearl Harbor. Yeah. 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 Right. right after the bombing, I was there. Right after the bombing? Yeah, December oh, okay. 741, I was there 42 to 45. Wow, is Ben Affleck that good looking in person? Pepper's yes, looking uh, for a guy. Oh, Pepper's looking for a guy. A you're a guy. Tell her to keep looking. I don't want to... That <laughs> man's a rebel right there. <laughs> now, you're a rebel, aren't you? Exactly. All right, be a rebel. Dump this woman and come with Pepper. Come on. Not that easy. Not that easy. Thank you. Thank you. That's right. All right. I was just kidding. You know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I thought you were a rebel, but you know what you are? You're whipped. <laughs> you're whipped. Uh, but you're happy. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check, let me check it out. Oh, okay. This one about uh, about a year. I'm trying to remember if I have any on. Probably about a year. That's not that long. I've had these probably for about three months. From uh, Dr. J's, it's a store that has a lot of ghetto fabulous stuff, as they say. Since uh, September of 2000, I've got one of my new, new repairs on. Probably a year. It was a gift from my mom. About two years. I'm not a big fan of uh, doing my laundry, so I'd rather have a lot of it. Since yesterday, I got it from Kmart. It was on sale. And the Fruit of Looms. These are six years old. Got them actually at a bar mitzvah. Haven't been washed since. Two hours. Brand new and the washing, then dryer, and... That's embarrassing. Probably too long. I'm rough on my underwear. Subway Q&A. So far, Pepper has encountered two old men, a gay man, and a married man. She is not finding Mr. Right, are you? No, I'm not. Oh, you can pick him, can't you? Uh -huh. Are you married, yes, sir? Yes. Look at his ring. Look at his ring. I'm married. married. Yes. You're married. married, married. All right, do you fool around? You have to be a man. No, you don't have to be a man. <laughs> oh, 
Come on over here. Pepper, come on. Pepper, you've been having bad luck today. I have, but you know what? Maybe it's time you broaden your horizons a little bit. I was just in her bedroom. Well, you should know. I, <laughs> do you like it that I go around the subway bragging that I was in your bed today? Yes. You like yes, that? Yes. All right. Wow. have a wow. smile on his face and music in the bedroom. I do. There's a smile on my face and a song in my heart, and, and I kind of itch here. Why don't we give a big Subway Q&A kiss right now to the camera, okay? Here we go, ready? Attention passengers, is there a question you would like to see Subway Q&A ask? Email us at subwayqa at metro.tv. Sir, what's your name? Ernest. Ernest. That's Pepper right there. Hi, Pepper. How are you doing, Ernest? I'm fine. Pepper's attractive, isn't she? Yes, she is. She's smart, too. Yeah. She's got a job? Good. Good woman. Good. Single. Yes. What, what's your story? Uh, in between marriages. Right now, you're single, and you're looking and, for a good time. And she's single. And she's single, too. All right. What do you do for a living? My line of work is to do as best work as possible. Do as, as little work oh. as possible. So the money that you have now is disability money. I get. Oh. I, I don't want to hurt him anymore. Oh, <laughs> you see that? She's a wild woman. She's uh, a wild woman, and she's afraid she's going to injure you. I don't want to hurt her either. Oh. Because once you get a piece of Mr. Willie, you know what I'm saying? Woo! You know what I'm saying? Woo! And then, then, then I have to cut a loop later on. You know, I have to cut a loop later on. Oh, <laughs> you're a player. Oh, hey, do you know Big Willie? Yes, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows Big Willie? Oh, Big Willie! Oh, <laughs> Anyone here ever been with Big Willie? Yes, I have. You have? Oh. Come here, come here. Oh. Come, here. Oh. come on. All right, now Pepper is considering hooking up with Big Willie. Pepper could forget it. She ain't got nothing. I don't have to worry about that little <laughs> I pay usually. In case I get mad at the man, I want to leave. I don't feel obligated to him. If, if a guy asks the girl out, I'm kind of old-fashioned, so I think, think the guy should pay. But I don't do that, so I don't know. It's not my, not my line. The guy. As a girl, I never pay on the first date just because it shows you think you deserve to be treated well. If it's more romantic, then the guy should pay. If it's more friendly, then you can split it. The man, because the man is always the one that usually asks you out. If it was the other way around, then the woman. It's more manly to pay. I think it should be 50-50. It's the 21st century. I think we should split it. Everyone's pretty independent nowadays. I don't really offer. Unless I've been dating him for a long time, then I offer. I would assume that I'm going to pay half. Because I can't think of any reason why one person should pay over the other. It all depends on what she look like now. She got big breasts. I'm paying. Hi, guys. How you doing? What's happening? Good. You guys know Pepper? Pep Pepper here is looking for a guy. Pepper is a very eligible young bachelorette. And he's also a union You're guy. You're a union gal? He's a union guy? You guys have a secret handshake or something? No, we don't. No. Okay. All right. That's good. So, so how do we make this happen? What's the next step? What's your name again? Archibald? Archibald and Pepper. That has a nice ring to it, huh? Archie and Pepper. Yeah, Archie and Pepper. That sounds yeah. great. Right. Sounds like an old vaudeville team. Oh, when no. that team come together, it'll be good. We'll take when, her to the soccer field. Let's we'll see what yeah. she can do. Gonna take her to the soccer field? Yeah, put her out there. Let's see how fast she can run, you know? I used to play soccer. Yeah. I don't think he wants to play soccer with you on the soccer field, Pepper. Uh, oh, that kind of soccer. I think, I think he wants to take you to the World Cup. Yesterday, to get my regular checkup, HIV, AIDS testing, things like that. Two months ago, I worked there, so whenever I have the littlest thing wrong with me, I go in to visit them. About a month ago, what they found was that I had a cyst inside my throat and sucked all this pus out of my mouth. About a week ago, it was for a, a breast lump. It was benign, and it's surprising because I don't have much, so. A year and a half ago, I had to get a checkup. I'm pretty due for one about now. I, I don't have health insurance, it's really expensive. Probably a month ago, because I have a lot of stomach problems that no one can figure out the cause of. I had to go to the emergency room because me and my friends drove a Jeep off a cliff. The Jeep was total. 
out of concussion. I'm gonna have to go to the dentist like next week. I think I got sensitive teeth. Ice cream kills me. When I was little, they were poor. I grew up in like a middle class town, almost lower middle class town. None of us really had you know, fancy cars or, you know, a lot of money. My father's a jazz musician. We would be waffling between uh, riches and poverty. There would be times when we could go skiing, and then there were other times when we were digging around for change in the back seat. Not a lot. Combined $100,000 a year. My dad had his own business. We lived in a really wealthy neighborhood, so I felt like on the lower end of that. I didn't get a car when I turned 16. I had to get a job. Combined $110,000 a year, something like that, hundred twenty. If I wanted stuff, I had to earn money to pay for it. I grew up faster because of because I wasn't spoiled. I didn't grow up in poverty. Both had their own business. I don't know how much, but they used to have enough to, to take care of all 18 of us. All right, Pepper, so you know how the show works. Yes. This is pretty much the show close right here. Yeah. You seem to be done. Are you happy? I'm very happy. Why don't we give a big Subway Q&A kiss right now to the camera, okay? Here we go. Ready? <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. Oh, you I meant... Like that. Oh, All right. They can't keep like their that. hands off each other. I'm Regis Philbin. <laughs>